security patterns. These patterns center around limiting access and preventing undesired modification. Authorization patterns. Security mechanisms that determine what actions a client is allowed to perform on system resources, such as files, services, or application features. Actions can be as simple as mere knowledge that a resource exists, all the way up to a total control of said resources. Authorization often follows authentication, verifying the client's identity first. A simple example is a dictionary mapping unique identifiers, such as usernames or passwords, to their access permissions. More robust systems may require multi-factor authentication or multiple access levels. However, overly complex protocols can lead to delays or bottlenecks, particularly when time-sensitive access is needed. The Secure Proxy Pattern A mechanism by which the client remains one or more steps removed from the actual object or service being requested. A proxy object or proxy service acts as a middleman between the client and the target such that the client never has direct access to the real thing, but can still get what they need. For example, a bank client cannot directly modify account details. Instead, they interact with a teller or online interface, which enforces the bank's policies and validates actions. Secure proxies can log actions, enforce access controls, or sanitize requests. However, proxies themselves can become vulnerable if they are compromised. Single Access Point a design that consolidates all access to sensitive code or resources through a single, predefined entryway, eliminating backdoors. For example, a class with private fields may use public getters or setters to control access. Similarly, singleton or core patterns can centralize interactions with critical data or behaviors. Additional safeguards like input validation or authentication can further restrict access. However, this pattern requires careful design to avoid bottlenecks or loss of access if a single entry point fails or becomes inaccessible, such as forgetting your password. Intercepting Validator A pattern where filters intercept requests or responses to validate, modify, or block them. Filters, such as guard clauses or middleware, can check conditions, sanitize inputs, or apply security policies. These can be chained together to enforce rules, route requests, or handle exceptions without altering the underlying logic. For instance, an API might validate tokens, log activity, and sanitize data before processing. While flexible, overly complex chains can introduce latency or obscure the flow of control. The Secure Factory and Secure Builder Patterns an extension of creation patterns like factory or builder, where sensitive information must be protected during object creation. For instance, a secure factory might validate inputs, encrypt outputs, or restrict access based on user roles. This ensures that sensitive data like API keys, passwords, or configurations are handled discreetly. While this adds a layer of security, it can also increase complexity and require additional safeguards against factory misuse. Private Class Data Pattern Sensitive data needs protection, even within your own code base. This is especially important if working in teams or other scenarios in which making data public could lead to unwanted outcomes. The Private Class Data Pattern encapsulates this information in a helper class, keeping it away from the core logic. In other words, it hides the data in several nested layers, like a bank vault, and requires a very specific path in order to access it. For simple objects, or objects in which security is not an issue, this approach can be overkill. If there are any design patterns you think we missed, let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you stay up to date when we release new content. If you'd like to learn more about programming and game design, click on the link appearing on your screen now or see the description below for ways you can help support this channel. Thanks, and take care.